One big mistake I've made in designing 3D parts is that I continue to print the whole thing even though I made a small change. Whether that's working on a snap fit, threaded parts, or things snapping together, I'd sometimes waste hours printing the entire assembly. So imagine this, you have an entire design assembly and you want to test how this particular snap interface goes together. This is a 3D printed drain snake that I put together. Not really worth the time or energy, but I did learn a lot in designing these 3D parts that are tiny to snap together with minimal work in post-processing. So what I would encourage you to do is try to get that 3D print out as fast as you can to start testing your different concepts. And the way I like to do that when I'm dealing with an entire assembly is to try to focus on an area. So the way I do that in Fusion is go to the split body tool. I can do planes or I can do just a simple sketch. I'm at the top level with my components and I'm gonna just sketch a rectangle about the area I care about. A circle might work depending on your shape and design. The point is you just have to break this up. So I'm gonna use the 3D point rectangle and do a really rough rectangle right here. It looks good. And what I wanna do is now split the body. Do S key, search for the split body. The split body first is this right component and I'm gonna use the split body sketch here or sketch we just did, click enter. And now that's separated that. I can hide this body, right click, repeat split body, make sure go up to your sketches and turn that last sketch to visible so that we can reuse it. The body to split this time is this left portion and I'm using the same sketch as before. Click enter, it's now split, hit V for visibility to hide it. I now have, and I probably don't even want to include this little extra nub here, it's not important. What I really care about is do these parts slide together okay and do they snap together sufficiently in the way that I want? I want to be to test that as quickly as possible. My next step would be to click File, 3D Print, or you can go to Utilities Print. Map to your specific slicer that you want to use. In my case, I am using Bamboo Studio. I've mapped to that, and I'm just using a 3MF for the format. The object, in this case, is the whole assembly file right at the top line. Click it. Now, what Fusion is going to send to Bamboo or to your slicer are the things that are visible. This is the important part. You can do the whole assembly all these little bodies, but only what's visible. So I've hidden all the other parts or bodies that I don't care about. And so the only things that get sent to Bamboo are the things that I've shown. When I open this in Bamboo, it's going to ask me if it's li it'd like to auto join everything, these multiple objects. I do not want to. I want the multiple parts. There it is. I'll click away, right click and arrange it so that we can see it. And there's our three parts that I want to print. We'll get that print started, saving a bunch of time. I hope this helps you iterate and design a little bit faster when you're working with your 3D printed designs. Hey, I've got a bunch of free resources that I've made for you in Fusion, all of my different videos available in a playlist, as well as these cheat sheets. They're all free, meant to help you in your journey in learning how to design with Fusion 360. Come check it out. It's free. I'll put the link down below in the description and try to put it up above. See you guys in the next video.